All right, YouTube. Yep, JR's live journal, and it looks like finally I can complete this uh, blog of Resident Evil 2, even though I probably would have rather done it around Halloween. This still nonetheless is content. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go on ahead and talk about a whole bunch of stuff, man, maybe even reminisce on Kevin Conroy some more. Like I said, it's really sad that he passed away too soon. And um, I know in the, the vlog that I did of Mask of the Phantasm, some of my words didn't come out right, but the fact that I do have mild autism, at times my speech can get like that, and a lot of times I just say stuff without even realizing it, or I don't say it the way I want them to come out sometimes, but I, I am nonetheless working on that, as everybody with this condition and gift should be doing. But anyway, uh, yeah... I'm going to go on ahead and, uh, okay, unfortunately, we're going to have a bad run in, uh, yep, with, uh, William Birkin. It's too bad he turned into such a savaging beast. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't think he'd attack in the same place twice. I was wrong about that. Whoa. More fire. And since the flamethrower is the only weapon I have available, since I don't have any ammo for my others. Oh boy, good luck with this. Oh man, no! Great. Oh man, goodness. Yeah, I know. It, they seem pretty non-vulnerable to fire. Yeah, the viruses in Resident Evil do give you precious gifts, but could it arguably be considered a fate worse than death in many aspects? Great, no. Okay, gotta spring the trap. Oh man, goodness. Wait. All right, now set it off. I'll admit, William Birkin does look a lot like the lizard Kurt Connors in the first. Okay. I just hope uh, my clip, my record clips and everything gets uh, good on here. Oh, boy. Yeah, this sure isn't easy. All right, he's down and out. Now for another.
Yeah, my mom and I just saw Forever Wakanda not too long ago. It's one of the most bipolar movies I ever seen in my life, but I won't give away spoilers. I mean, you see a movie these days, and most of the time it usually isn't good, but I can kind of understand that things are different in the movie world now since they're a lot more on the liberal side. It's going to take us back into that one room. We got to get to the other. <laughs> we got to get past this thing and into the Umbrella Corporation headquarters. Yeah, it hurts even more when you yank it out than when it gets shoved in. Yeah, even Tommy Doyle said the same thing to Lori in Halloween Kills. All right, <clears throat> clip number three is now recording. Yep, got to go into that cab car now finally, and it's good to know that uh, Ada re acquired the wristband that's needed to get on it. Yeah, even at the nearly at the cost of her life when Annette found her going after it and puts her in that oven. Decided to skip that part since that part's like pretty complex. Yeah, it's the most complex part of the game, I think. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ada can take her time. Even though it is a wasting and running out. And I can't wait until the remake of four. I'm so excited. Yeah, Ada was my ticket to ride. Yeah, like the Beatles song. He was, she was Leon's ticket to ride. <laughs> she was. 
she's got a ticket to ride. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing on how Umbrella creates all these experiments, bioweapons, and they test the viruses on human subjects or whatever they can get their hands on, even animals and stuff, and boy, just creates a hell of an unstoppable beast. Well, like I was saying before, it's a face, it's most likely a fate worse than death. Yeah, I'm aware that there's still quite a bit left to this game and all that. I'm not going to go through the entire thing in one blow, but I'm not really the bestest expert at this one yet. But, I mean, I'll admit, you know, I'm, I am pretty good at Resident Evil 4 and even Village. Okay, now Leon has possession of the ID wristband. Yep, as I was saying, as of right now, it is in no condition to help Leon further, so. It's all on foot from here for Leon now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh, there's some useful items lying nearby. Leon is going to need them. Huh. Some more ammo or gunpowder or anything, boy. And <laughs> eh, nothing right now, but I'll be getting to it soon, hopefully. Stand as far away as possible. Need to social distance for COVID. <laughs> All right, I can go in from here now. All right, in the Umbrella Headquarters, otherwise known as the Nest. Yeah, but real fast, I am gonna go in here. And I'm going to collect those. All right, map, that always comes in handy. All right. <laughs> I can't read the... Uh, Emails on that laptop right now, but read, read the, the, this computer system, room log, and yeah, just telling you a list of subjects they use the uh, G virus on. Oh, yeah, I forgot you got to upgrade your code clearance on the wristband. Right now, I don't have the proper appropriate level. Down you go. 
That'll work out nicely for the flamethrower. Okay, now we can go up this ladder before more of them creep up and attack me, and I've got little defense right now. Don't need to restore the health yet until we get more uh, health spray. Gunpowder, that'll do fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Goodness. Yeah. All right, now we're back with more of this. Presumably that uh, bastard outside ain't got... Uh, <laughs> I'll have more of an effect on them. Okay, we still need to get the device that's required for that. Sweet. <laughs> Now we have greater access to this place. Can't grab those shotgun shell. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah, hasta luego. <laughs> I wonder what Leon's going to stay at, say instead of Hostile Awago in the reimagined version to the Chief. <laughs> Inventory still full, huh? Sure, I may not be playing this accordingly, but I don't really give a shit about that right now. Oh man, now I'm back here. <laughs> but nonetheless, I could enter that blue door. I meant to go here. All right. We don't really need that very many knives.
All right, now we are back with more of this. Special Forces recording. Target moving to the west area. Must be going to retrieve the G-Virus and the antiviral agent. This is Ghost, understood. Rendezvous point. Uh, yeah, I can just picture this like being that like military like radio broadcast that you hear in like a lot of that military operative stuff in both the media and even real life advertising. Yep, got to move in the west area. Yeah, we got to go over there. Don't have a code clearance to use that yet. And uh, to get to the west area, we need the highest clearance possible, which, uh, yeah, we got to go for the greenhouse to get that first. Well, Umbrella, I hope you realize you guys just fucked yourselves up by creating these beat things that got too out of control, even out of your predictions. I guess this is mere proof that scientists can't always prove everything. Right? Ah, yes, sweet. Just what we needed. All right. Got to upgrade the wristband. Yeah. Even more overwhelming factors are about to occur, like doing more puzzles. Excellent, got them down. All right, we are back, and uh, I uh, looked up those codes, was able to solve them pretty fast. All right, got to get that sample, do an upcoming other puzzle. Oh, no, that is not good at all. Just need to get paint to complete that. Oh no, oh no, ah great! Suck on that. All right. Okay, we got it. another map of more sections in the place. I don't really know what that trophy does, so I'm going to disregard it. Oh, 
Oh no! The liquors again. <laughs> Shit. Damn. Oh, man. Ah, oh, great. Man, and the liquors are already enough. Oh, man, another one. Yeah, I hate the way they attack by stealth. Yeah, shot it right in the brain. Even Mojo, Jojo, and the Lobe are a lot more attractive than you guys. All right, now it's uh, time to move along here. Oh no. Huh, they just don't know when to quit. Nope, we're not going back out there yet. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, unlike those regenerators in the fourth Resident Evil original, you could easily see the weak points on these. My gosh. Anyway, I got to Oh no. <laughs> Consider us even, bastard. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we got too much.
All right, here we go with more. Yep, it took me a while to get that get that figured out, but but I tell you, you know, I mean, it's a good way to make your brain work, I guess. <laughs> A lot of this here got to destroy plant 43. <laughs> and most of all, we got to get back to where we were. Yeah, shot you right down there. More of those liquors are going to come into play. Tell you what, I ain't up for them. Yeah, still need to find that one little device. Uh, yeah, still haven't ventured that area yet either. Gotta be a way out of here. I've beaten this game several times, but there are so many variables to it, I can't beat it all in one go. My goodness, oh boy. Still need to find the one room where that uh, device is that I can get that those lights on. The map. Some more gunpowder in here, according to the map. Okay. Oh no. All right. And need to do a little bit more digging here. All right, here we go again. Yep, we're back here, and uh, it's time to get a move on. I found the uh, thing to activate the power to that room. Luckily enough, it didn't wake up the liquors yet. Okay, uh, yeah, we got to do some more mix and matching. Eavesdrop on his emails. <laughs> yeah, talking, gossiping about Dr. Cartwright.
Yeah, this is obviously from some guy he went to school with. <laughs> Amazing on how much you change after life goes on after high school or college, wherever, wherever it is you're reuniting or still keeping in touch. <laughs> Place that in there. It's pretty amazing in for Forever Wakanda, though. The one pro of it, or the one plus point, it had the Submariner in it for the first time live action. Yeah, and I even saw Black Adam the week before that, and I mean... Both the movies were good and bad in their own way, but, uh, you know, that's just the thing. You know, Forever Wakanda, that movie took very long, too. I think it took a little bit longer than necessary. Kind of seemed like it was a little relentless, too. Okay, now it's back to the greenhouse. <laughs> Can actually take a shortcut. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man, now they're now they're here too. Like Sal the Weezer Velestro said, if there was just some other way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we gotta go in the other control room. And more of these freaks are going to be attacking us. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Finally, about to be effective. I'm going to get level three clearance to the ID wristband, which is a requirement. Oh, man. Yeah, like that's an issue for Leon Kennedy. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. My goodness. Yeah, exactly. Leon. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. And like him ain't a, being honest is enough. G got a suggestion for you, Mr. X. Why don't you beat those bastards instead? <laughs> like you haven't had enough of me already. <laughs> All right, time to resume. Yep, I am going in the right direction. Now I can go to the west area. 
which is where we needed to go to begin with, but uh, <laughs> didn't have the clearance. And hopefully we can get there before that bastard catches up. Mr. X, one of the biggest stalkers in Resident Evil history. <laughs> Another video. <laughs> Time to play with this little gadget again. <laughs> I'll admit, this kind of looks like one of those toys you would have got had like in the 80s, early 90s. Hey, looks like Dr. Birkin had some emails, too. I don't think I read the whole thing, but put this video in. <laughs> Man, is Dr. Birkin pretty greedy a little bit. I mean, he really wanted to make an unstoppable bioweapon, but boy, it really did cost him. You go to extremes, there's consequences. Honk. <laughs> All right, now we've uh, got more to do here. Look around to see if we can find anything more useful here. Got to get a cross over there.
But it's about to get harder. Oh. Research diary. Yeah, they, they named each of these, they gave each of their subjects a number, 628, <laughs> the first three numbers of an Abingdon, Virginia phone number, which is the area I was born at, <laughs> 639, one to carry, my friend from Chicago, Tim, <laughs> his uh, old phone number I used to call him at when I, we were in high school, that was the first three numbers I would enter to call him. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta fight William again, too. <clears throat> At least it's good to know that Leon's on good terms with Annette here. <laughs> All right. In for a hell of a ride here in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, it is pretty amazing on how much uh, William Birkin in this adaptation looks similar to D Dr. Kirk Connors, the lizard, and the Mark Webb Amazing Spider-Man movie. Yeah, two doctors that went overboard with their testing, and they turn into beasts. We end this right here, right now. Goodness. Ready to be set on fire. Oh boy. Oh no.
want more of that stuff? Yeah, and that stuff too. Aw, oh, heck yeah. Man, the, the thing won't give up. Oh no, goodness, man, this thing doesn't give up, he never surrenders. All right, continuing. <laughs> I think you're fucked from here, Dr. Birkin. Oh shit. Oh no, he's lifting, he's going to extremes now. Shit. Oh no. Man, this is this is very intense here. Oh, damn. I think I beat him. Eh, it's sad that he had to go. <laughs> Uh, see here if there's anything else I could find that's of use. That'll help nicely, but boy, do you have anything health-wise I could use, man? <laughs> Uh, I guess that's all the health they had. No herbs or anything, boy. Oh boy, this is gonna be a hell of a ride right here. <laughs> And it's uh, blowing Ada's cover to Leon right here. All right. 
Continuing more of this, watching the cutscene because it is entertaining. <laughs> the only Resident Evil game I truly rush is the fourth one. And now we got to get out of here. <laughs> Oh man, nothing, nothing more of use. There's Ada, she somehow recovered and was able to get this far even without a wristband unless she had another one all along. But I knew you were my only way into this, Ada. So I had to trust you either way. <laughs> Just so I can get ahead. <laughs> but you needed to trust me so you could. It either ends my way or yours. Oh, man. Okay, I must get out of here. It's all coming down. Okay. I already know what's in store ahead. You have to fight that bastard Mr. X one more time. Uh, yeah, imagine that. No more uh, healing equipment right now. <laughs> and we got 10 minutes to escape the nest, or it's or going to be history along with it. <laughs> If I were Leon really in this situation, I'd be like, man, can't this elevator go down any faster than this? <laughs>
It's Claire. <laughs> According to the surveillance. <laughs> All right, time to get the hell out of here once and for all. All right, get out of here right now. Why don't you people I'm a die? <laughs> Toad said in the first X-Men movie. Yeah, same guy that played Darth Maul in episode one. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of Darth Maul, I have been uh, watching Star Wars The Clone Wars on Disney Plus and the Darth Maul arc of it. He even has a badass brother, Savage, off press. Yeah, I think he, he might even arguably be better than Darth Maul. He may not be as good of a force user. Oh, like I said, he may not be as good of a force user, but... Uh, <laughs> good to know I have speed advantage over this guy. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, here we go. Of all the final bosses in the game, it had to be this guy. that no more healing equipment how pitiful <laughs> Yep, the guy still hasn't taken a hint. <laughs> but we still have a little bit of meat on this bone we haven't finished, so why not? <laughs> Oh no. Aim for his heart. <laughs> Surprised it's even beating at all. Don't you even not have a heart, obviously? Oh, 
Oh no. Yeah, be prepared for his ultimate attack here in just a minute. Yeah, well, at least uh, he's able to withstand that. Oh, man, the guy just does not go down well. Oh, he's asking for it. Man, fire can't even take this guy down. Oh, no. Yeah, I usually mess up at this part quite often. Man, not even the... All right. Just this down, and uh, we'll be all set. Oh, no. Oh, fuck that. Oh, no. Yeah, you, I have no clue what is with this thing. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. What's it up to now? Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Aha! Bon voyage! Okay, now we gotta escape. Oh man, come on! Well. Finally, yeah, I did completed the vlog for this game. This will probably be my last gaming vlog that I do for this year, even. Yeah, because uh, I'm going to be uh, taking a little bit of a hiatus for a while after this year is over. And I'll still watch other people's content on YouTube, but...
As for creating stuff, I'm probably going to be taking a very long break. A longer break than I did before. <laughs> yeah, before I was only on a break for five and a half months. This time it's going to be maybe a year, possibly longer than that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and just wrap this up. I guess, uh, yeah, uh, that game I just beat, I got an A rating for it. I got an A grade. That's pretty cool because uh, I only got, I got a C the other times, you know, when I've played these games a lot or even a B. I usually get either a B or a C, but the fact that I got an A that time, I mean, I would have shared it, but ran out of time and everything and it, the game was over. But anyway... I guess uh, this will conclude it for my vlog on the Resident Evil 2 remake on, on, on November 13th, 2022. Anyway, I'm out.